Well, hi, and welcome to another pack training video. Um, a couple of good trades yesterday. Actually, sorry, now only one good trade. We had one uh, losing trade to start with, and then a very good trade. Um, in actual fact, the, the trade was uh, worked out even better than I thought, uh, the second trade, because uh, my limit order, uh, which I set up to be at, the, at the, using the 90 pip tool, which I'll uh, show you on, uh, on the charts in a moment, uh, was actually pushed right through very quickly. The market must have been very volatile. I was actually in bed at the time, so I didn't know, obviously, uh, that had occurred uh, because it was getting late for me here in New Zealand. But anyway, so I got up this morning and uh, it was very nice when the, uh, the account always increases overnight uh, when you're in bed asleep. But anyway, okay, so let's just quickly run through uh, what, what I did. Um, first off, I sold um, at, uh, on 6.45 a.m. bar. Now we're gonna, I'm going to pull the chart up in a minute and have a look at that so you can see exactly what it was. And then I bought on the 9.30 bar. The first trade was a loss of 17 pips and the second trade was a gain of 71 pips. So it gave me a 50, 54 uh, pips um, net result on, on the day. Now I'll just pop that up, uh, pop that up so you can see. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> well, we're back. Okay, so what I do now is I just want to answer, answer a question that, that came in um, yesterday. Um, for that, we're going to go to the whiteboard and have a think about this because this was very applicable how this trade was taken, how every trade is taken. And uh, let's just get back over there now and have a look. Okay, so welcome to the whiteboard. Uh, we have got, I got this email anyway saying, how do I think about the trades I'm going to take? How do I, how do I think about them? Um, and what makes me think this is going to be a good trade or that's going to be a bad trade? You know, then this was from a, from a new student and it's okay. You know, this is exactly the sort of question, I suppose, really that a lot of people have. But so I, I had really got thinking about this, uh, thinking about thinking. And I was thinking that is it useful or is it redundant? Well, thinking about something, um, for me, is probably you look at the chart, you have a quick think about it and you, and you get that sense of knowing, which is what I covered yesterday on the video. So I'm going to say that thinking uh, is useful up to a point, only to a point, and then it becomes redundant. Because if you, uh, and I'll give an example here, you, you might look at the chart, you see a particular stop take, or you see a particular sign of strength coming in, and, you're th and, you, and that's a, let's say that's a term of thinking, you're thinking about that. It then comes up and you think, okay, I've got this now. At that point there, thinking has got to stop. You've got to get rid of it, the thinking at that point, and then you've got to act. So you can't go on thinking about it, because if you do, you'll overthink it, and uh, the whole process will turn to a bit like custard. You know, you won't be able to get in the market because you'll be thinking, okay, is the market now gonna go up, or is the market gonna go down? So the quick answer to this, and hopefully this is helpful for the, for the chap that, uh, that mailed in, you know, it is useful up to a certain point, after that it becomes redundant, and then you've got to simply get into the market. Now, we're going to have a look at the charts now and see what I did yesterday, and I'll try and bring some of this forward into that, those two trades uh, to let you know how that worked out. So let's get back over on the charts now. Okay, so here we are on the 60-minute on the chart. This is uh, where I traded, or, or not where I traded from. This is the, the market I traded from. I'm just pulling a bit of paper over here so I can see what uh, my entries were, and etc. Okay, so um, what I've got marked up here, you can see I've got this high volume line up at uh, 07960, and uh, that was relative to this, uh, this bar here. And you can see how that actually, uh, what happened on here, look at the market had come up, come back down into this area here, come back down into this area here, and then here again. Now what I could see obviously here was the, the, the volume was, the market was coming down, Pat was now showing us nicely, volume started to build, we've got this as a foundation, this uh, line running through here, so it was time to get over onto the 15 minute chart. Okay, so over on here, let's just pull that up nice and big so you can see that, open that up. Now the first trade that I took was, that I sold on the 6.45 a.m. bar, so let's just find that, 6.45. 6.30, 6.45. Okay, now why, why, why did I sell this? I thought about this, this is getting back to our thinking, I thought about this and I thought, okay, well, this market has come off of this line a couple of times here now, and I looked at this and I could see this, uh, this, this drop down here, I could see this uh, drop down on the belief bar, and I thought, okay, that's definitely a little bit of sign of weakness there, it was fading as the market went up there. I am gonna anticipate that the market is gonna break down, break, break through the 760, and from there, I'm gonna go on and make a nice lot of money. Okay, so I sold the market, and um, you know what happened was, the market just went sideways for another 15 minutes, and then some volume come at the bottom here, 
and then the market jumped up. You can see the belief bar impact jumps up. That signifies us to something as a change, good change in direction, and it's got volume underneath it. And as a result of that, I was stopped out and lost 17 pips on it. Now, so I sat around and just thought about this for a while, and, and uh, you know, I thought, well, well, that's not going to go down. We've got a bit of volume coming on here. And then I saw this jump bar up here at 8.15. I uh, was still looking at it, I was still watching it around and not really convinced at this stage. I wanted to see something a little bit clearer. But now I get into the top line here of, uh, of, of Pat, you can see under there. And uh, what happened was at 9.30, which was here, I there bought the market and got in there. And that's what happened from there. Now, how did I exit it? I popped on my TFT tool here, and you can see I'd got an exit here of 08053, which was up here. And I actually went to bed just about running through there as it went back into congestion and accumulation rather. That's the uh, accumulation uh, block there in pack. Went into there, I went off to bed, and then I got up in the morning and boom, there she'd gone right the way through, closed out, and I got better, a better um, uh, fill on that. Okay, so that's it uh, for today, and uh, we'll see how things go later on. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, you managed to learn a few things from there, and uh, we'll catch up with you very soon. Pat software turns confusion into clarity and complex into simple. Pat's easy to understand, easy to use, and a complete training solution. If you're not a member of the Pat team, then maybe you'd like to have a look. We have an active forum where you can come take a look at what we do in more depth, and you get to communicate with Pat users and find out what they're up to and how they're doing. If you'd like to pop in and have a look, then when this video finishes, shoot over to learntotrade.com, find the big button that says visit the forum, click on that, and you'll go to the forum registration page. Top right corner of that page, you'll see a button that says Create Account. Click that, fill out your subscription details, and before you know it, even if you don't have Pat software, you'll quickly see how transparent markets are and how you can profit from them when you truly understand how the market maker's method works. I'll see you on the other side.